Hey guys, how we doing? We are back playing some more Westland Survival. How we going guys? Okay, so what I want to do today is I want to head up to the north. So hence the reason why I've got some warmer clothing on me, but also want to sort of take you through my base and just give you a quick update as to what I've been up to in between videos. So let's go ahead and check out what's going on. And I think this hopefully would help you guys as well when you do get this spef uh, specific update, sorry. Uh, this would actually give you guys a bit of an understanding and idea on what you may want to do depending on where you are game stage. So I'll get into that, what I mean by that in a little moment. But for me, I want to head up the, uh, to the north today because I want to get some iron. So the reason why I'm trying to get some iron here is um, is because I want to finish the bridge because I never got to finish the bridge. Um, unfortunately, you know, with the hiatus that I had with the game, um, I never got around to actually going through the bridge and completing it and get opening up the other section. So um, bad for me if you guys have done that, you know, good on you. So. I guess this is probably going to be a good uh, wake, up, wake up call for the rest of you that haven't actually got into that stage and finished the uh, the bridge yet. And if you haven't got the update, it's probably going to be a good time for you guys to start doing that now and getting everything that you need to get that bridge open. So that would be my recommendation. So for the first part, I was really concerned about this because this was more or less going to bottleneck my progression in getting... Uh, accessibility to the bridge sooner rather than later so now that I've actually upgraded the armor workstation here you guys will be able to see now that if I upgrade it once more I'll have accessibility to not only the standard warm clothing but there's more of a refined version of that set Obviously a little bit more in terms of materials and what type of materials are going to be required So you've got the iron rivets Cotton cloth and you know, you've got the fur there and then you've got some nails that would be required to complete the set So you do need level 3 workshop to obtain both of these now This is probably something else now that we were sort of thinking about when the update did drop that they removed the ability for us to craft armor clothing things like that i'm guessing it has to happen if i upgrade this workstation to level three it should preview the next lot of clothes which i'm assuming it's going to be the armor so hopefully that's going to um you know come to fruition hopefully that gives you guys a bit of hope as well so the the focus and the emphasis for this update obviously is the upgrade path now for workstations and things like that and there's something else i'm going to bring up too which i'm hoping is going to happen in a future update as it hasn't been mentioned but i'll get at that i'll get into that in a moment's time um at the moment i am waiting for my workshop uh, to go to level three so i've got accessibility to the iron parts I'm actually interested in playing around with this um, average composite bow, so that will be good. And then finally, we'll have the ability to craft our own leather, leather backpack, so that'll be interesting as well. Aside from that, I'm up the stage now that I can actually craft iron ingots. In this update, you need four iron ores to make one ingot, which is heavily expensive. So. Hence the reason why I'm trying to get this done as soon as possible. So right now I've got 163 pieces. I don't have enough to complete what I need to get the additional um, uh, tar items so I can actually open up the bridge for myself. I've got the nails, they're safely stored in my vault there so that's not a problem. It's more or less these iron ingots are going to be a bit of a pain. And before we get underway guys I just want to quickly show you this as well. For some reason I have an issue here with my chemistry table. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to um, uh, set up the laboratory, uh, sorry, do craft some dynamite. Now, interesting enough for this, it doesn't seem that I could actually craft it at this stage. So it says not enough space and I'm gonna show you, I've, you know, the, the reason why I have space and why I'm thinking that this could be a future update, whether this gets um, added to the full release so everyone else can use it, or will it come in the uh, pre-release 
for the beta testers that you know as myself that's playing this game at the moment so basically if you click onto this it says upgrade heal and chemistry storage of free some space on it so i'm guessing all free some space it's probably a typo so if i do that here and if i go take all there's nothing happens so usually once you've crafted an item it should pretty much be automatically allocated to this uh, storage unit so the fact that it's not gives me reason to believe and obviously that it says level one up on the top here that we're gonna have the ability to upgrade these storage units so whether or not it's gonna be more storage slots or will the item stack beyond 20 which I'm which I would assume that would be the likely upgrade path that's just my opinion on that one there let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below so hopefully we'll get some more information about that a little while longer uh, you know in a you know hopefully in not too far distant future but hopefully that will be something that we'll be able to look forward to and we can you know uh, start crafting things like dynamite and the final thing here is before we leave there was a minor update to the beta as well and this basically allowed us to get all of our tomahawks back so we have the warrior tomahawk back we've got the small stone tomahawk and i believe it's the iron tomahawk there the bone was already still in game after the update but then when they removed these tomahawks here they changed everything into copper spears or copper daggers and things like that so yeah so i'm glad that they've changed it and they've added them back um, but I think they've buffed these up a little bit, if I'm not mistaken, but it, they're there. They're, they're extra weapons for us to use, which is a good thing. <coughs> Excuse me. But I think it's more to the point where you guys might want to, um, you know, consider other weapons depending on where you are wanting to go, you know, into a zone. So if you go into a basic zone, or like a green yellow probably zone then yeah use those tomahawks because they're going to be more than enough for you to use it but if you're going to go into a red zone you might want to take something more powerful so that's why i'm taking uh, more powerful weapons but for me at the moment as i said before i'm stuck because i can't access the additional areas because i do not have the iron ingots so we're going to head up and we're gonna hopefully get some more and I also got to make a case I need to go over to uh, the forest over here so I can get some maple um, now maple is starting to become a bit of a um, an upgrade pass struggle so I do need some more maple I've got all the necessary tools required so I can actually um, do all of that so that's not going to be a problem it's just going to take a few goes at doing it so I can at least upgrade some of the workstations that will allow me to upgrade the, um, the loom so I can actually start crafting warm um, uh, clothing outfits. So that's going to be the sticking point for me. And it's, I'm sort of on a, on a limited time as well. There's only so much that I can do in getting um, materials here. And then without all of my warm clothing, you know, uh, breaking so that's the problem that I'm having at the moment I've got to be very careful about what I do and how I do it so for the most part I've got to be very conservative as to what um, how I attack um, enemies you know less you know one hit or less that's basically what I'm looking at I'm gathering all of these hides as well so I can turn them into fur and at least this way we can, um, you know, just well, required pick. Oh, I think I left some behind. It's okay. Um, I should have a couple of picks available. And I guess in hindsight, you know, for not jumping back in the game on a regular basis, it allowed me to, um, you know retain some of that which is a really good thing as well which is sort of helping me out now because let's face it 
at the moment the uh, lesser materials so being the copper pickaxe and the bronze pickaxe um, are not even close to the iron pickaxe in terms of durability now they have improved which is good so as per the update that happened just not long ago they did try to refine and fix some of the items that were sort of broken so I haven't seen all of that come through just yet um, I haven't actually tested that myself yet so I'm gonna you know have to do some testing myself to see if we have um, uh, you know better durability with the lesser items Let's just take you out now I'm not gonna bother picking up these pistols because let's face it they are not the best Oop. and these links they come out of nowhere especially with this um, in this zone so it's really annoying for me to try and um, you know uh, be on on the conservative side and not you know get my armor broken yeah I know there was um, an episode that King Bonker recently um, uploaded and he was trying to get some basalt uh, ore material and he wasn't sure as to where to go so I did mention to him that I did find it up in this uh, zone here so I, l I let him know about that I don't believe he's actually um, posted a video just yet about it so that's all fine but at least for you guys that are wondering where to find it which you know would be a good um, you know conversation piece here you guys will be able to find it here up in the north so you guys can get all the basalt that you need and also got the level up as well so all the ore amounts that you're going to find here are going to vary now between you know each time that you guys enter the zone so with the basalt i'm getting anywhere between 60 to 80 um pieces and with the iron ore this for me varies so i'm getting anywhere between about 25 27 and as little as 15 so which is really weird for me that i've noticed so i'm not too sure if it's because of this update or not or if the zones have now recently uh, set up some irregular um, loot drops uh, for items so oh sorry for materials so again that's interesting but yeah basically for now this is what I'm having to do I'm having to sneak around um, just be careful on how I whoop, maneuver, <laughs> maneuver about and not do things like that whoop, and not hit the auto button I really got to sort of be careful with that. So I should be able to take down this goon. One hit. Um, I'll take that with me. And from time to time, you always get a running enemy in these zones, which is a bit of a pain. And if I can take him out, perfect. And I'll see. I'll go ahead and see what's inside here. But basically, my main objective here at the moment is to find as much iron as possible and basically get the hell out that's basically where i'm at with this so we're just gonna have a quick squeeze around but i thought i'd just give you the idea about you know this is what to look for if you guys are wanting to start uh you know to try and get yourself some basalt salt uh salt sorry um at least you guys have you know an avenue now so it's all up in the north but you're gonna need some warm clothing so especially depending on where you guys are at um, if you guys have got a decent amount of uh, warm clothing, then good on you guys. But if you haven't, and you haven't got this update, my suggestion is you're gonna ha you're gonna want to start crafting a few sets, especially if you want to start upgrading certain workstations. You're gonna need this uh, this material so you can craft the stone block equivalent. And it's good when you get um, acres coming across because they do drop some iron ingot which is a really really good so yeah guys so if you guys are interested in heading over into the north and you guys just have gotten the update you definitely want to make sure that you're not missing out and you're not sort of um, uh, not giving yourself every available opportunity and um, edge for yourself to um, maximize your you know your playing potential here because <coughs> excuse me sorry guys 
<coughs> do apologize about that. Um, but yeah, this is going to sort of make or break your, your progressional um, status on this game. So the more that you sort of watch these videos, you know, myself, King Bongo, whoever else is actually playing uh, this game in the beta release, you guys are going to want to sort of play, uh, pay close attention to us just so you can go, sort of get the heads up. You guys are aware of what's going on and at least this way you can sort of um, fast track yourselves a little bit quicker. Oops. Who's that? And at least this way, you know, you guys don't sort of um, uh, grind yourself out and, you know, it takes you a lot longer than what it should um, until you get to, you know, where you, where you need to be. So I'm just going to grab some of this while I'm here, just in case. And so far, I don't think... I'm just going to split these up. Um, okay, what I'm going to need to do... Is I'm just going to drop these here into here and I don't want the basalt here and I'm pretty much just going to split everything else up and I think I need to get rid of no cotton seed is fine is the charcoal I need to get rid of and then I can sort of go into a quick auto mode just to see if I've actually covered the area okay so so, we found something, which is good. Oops, I should actually, yep, do that. And I shouldn't have done that in the first place, but doesn't matter. There we go. Okay, so basically I'm just going to auto out the remainder. Just to make sure I can get everything I possibly can. I'm actually glad that... Oh, come on, hit him, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, that was weird. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, oop, and these guys are just coming out of nowhere now. Um, you know what? That's actually not bad. I might actually grab all of that. Because that will serve another armor set for myself. So, let's just take that and that and that away. And, no, let's just grab that, that and that. I think that's pretty good awesome all right so i'm just going to quickly run about and just see if i've missed out anything unfortunately along the way i'm going to have to try and take some people out which is it is what it is but hopefully i can find the oh that was not the enemy i really wanted to deal with but okay let's just all right perfect Alright, so let's keep moving on. Okay, so he's found the coal. So yeah, you can also find coal up here as well, guys. So just make sure you, um, you get um, you make some space for coal because coal is going to be one of the better items for you to um, uh, burn your um, use your workstations to burn uh, materials. So yeah, definitely make sure that you guys are doing that as well. Okay, so inventory is full, so I've pretty much gotten everything here. So what do we end up with? So just around, around about 20, which is fine. And let's just take down this other acre, take the coal from you, and also take the coal from you. So that's basically it, guys. I've unfortunately lost my pants here, so which is no good here. Um, hopefully I'll be able to, I think I've actually got another pair of pants, so I'll be able to use that without a problem. But let me know what you think about this down in the comment section down below, guys. Uh, I'm really interested to know your thoughts about this. Let me know if you guys are one of the beta testers as well, trying uh, the update out. And yeah, just let me know what your thoughts are about this. Because hopefully we'll, you know, everyone else will start to benefit from this fairly soon. And... You know, we'll, we'll be all on the same playing page. But I'm going to leave, leave it here today, guys. If you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that sort of good stuff. 
do me the solid guys and make sure you hit the like button please this will really help me out and the channel and of course the video it'll get seen through your um through the recommended and at least that way we can get the word out as soon as possible anyway i'm out of here take it easy and i'll catch you next time